Welcome to Goalie's PIP Academy. What makes it snow? How do clouds decide to send down snowflakes instead of rain? Why are snowflakes all different shapes? Do they have their own personalities? And wait, here's another one. How do weather experts know exactly when snow will fall? Do they have a secret snow detecting machine? Let's dive into these icy mysteries and find out the incredible science behind what makes it snow and how do they predict it. Let's start with the basics. Snow happens when the air is cold enough and water vapor in the clouds freezes into tiny ice crystals. These crystals stick together to form snowflakes. When the snowflakes get too heavy, they fall to the ground, creating the snowy landscapes we love. Isn't that magical? Here's how it works. For snow to form, the temperature needs to be below freezing. That's 32 degrees Fahrenheit or zero degrees Celsius. If the air is too warm, the frozen crystals melt into raindrops instead. So snow is all about the right balance of cold air and moisture in the clouds. How cool is that? Now let's talk about predicting snow. Meteorologists, the scientists who study weather, use special tools to predict when it's going to snow. They look at satellite images, weather radar, and temperature readings to see if the conditions are right. It's like solving a big weather puzzle. They can even calculate how much snow will fall and how long it will last. Isn't that incredible? Here comes our first quiz. Are you ready? True or false? Snow forms when water vapor in the clouds freezes into tiny ice crystals. Think you know the answer? Hey, you're watching Goalie's Pip Academy, where we teach about science, geography, history, everything about the whole world. If you want to watch these classes with no ads, no distractions, go to getgoalie.com. If you said true, then well done. That's right. Snowflakes are made of frozen water vapor that turns into ice crystals. Great job, snow scientists. Let's dive into some super cool snow facts. Did you know that no two snowflakes are exactly alike? Each snowflake forms in its own unique way, creating one-of-a-kind designs. It's like nature's tiny works of art. Isn't that amazing? But wait, here's something even cooler. Snowflakes aren't white. They're actually clear. The way light reflects off the ice crystals makes them look white to our eyes. It's a frosty optical illusion. Isn't nature just the best? And guess what? The largest snowflake ever recorded was 15 inches wide. That's bigger than a dinner plate. Imagine catching a snowflake that huge on your tongue. Wouldn't that be crazy? Here comes our second quiz. Ready for another snowy challenge? Let's go. Multiple choice time. What do meteorologists use to predict snow? A, magic wands. B, weather radar and satellites. C, snow globes. D, thermometers. Only take a moment to think. If you chose B, weather radar and satellites, then fantastic. That's absolutely correct. Meteorologists use high-tech tools like radar and satellites to predict when and where it's going to snow. Isn't that amazing? Let's sprinkle in some more frosty fun facts. Did you know that some places get more snow in one winter than others get in a whole century? Places like Japan and Alaska are famous for their snow. In fact, some mountains in Japan get so much snow, they have snow walls taller than houses. How wild is that? And here's another cool fact. Snow acts like a blanket for plants and animals in the winter. It traps heat and keeps everything underneath warm. So while it might look cold and frosty, snow is actually helping life survive. Isn't that heartwarming? So what did we learn today? Snow forms, when cold air and moisture come together, freezing water vapor into ice crystals. Meteorologists use tools like radar and satellites to predict when it will snow. And snowflakes are unique, beautiful creations of nature. How amazing is that? 
Thanks for joining us on this frosty adventure. If you loved learning about what makes it snow and how it's predicted, make sure to subscribe to our channel. If you want to learn more and be sure to check out our other playlists. Until next time, stay curious, stay cool, and keep exploring. My mind is blown. Where can I learn more about these videos? Oh yeah, getgoalie.com. There's no ads, there's no junk, just cool stuff for kids and a dedicated tablet. Check it out, getgoalie.com.